What is going on everybody on YouTube? Griffin here coming back to you all with a highly demanded video. A um, couple of y'all brought this up in the past and I just seem to forgot about doing it for you all and I figured you know one of y'all brought it up recently and I was like well I've never actually done that video so I figured I'd do a cl quick little uh, video clip of just a truck tour like my setup for my truck. I was actually getting ready to drive off so get out of here not gonna show off the inside because it's a little messy right now not really just for my standards it's a little messy um, so if we take a look inside the truck I'll flip you guys around here so our setup is pretty small pretty basic um, I usually do not have the five gallon jugs in the truck, but it's the end of the month and we're not running that many stops other than some new starts here and there. So I just kind of fill up as I go. Good little tip for you all. Only fill up the amount of water you need. You know, that water weighs down, um, you know, your truck and your springs and everything. It's just going to, you know, make your truck work harder, less MPGs, all that good stuff. I don't always do that myself, but, you know, it's a good little tip. Um, I just tend to use a box, you know, to carry the BNG, or not carry the BNG, but transport the BNG. Usually, you know, our go-to chemical or whatever that we use the most, which right now we're using the Lambda 9.7. Um, you know, anything that I tend to use a lot, you know, little measuring wheel for termite quotes. Got our baits, a couple boxes, because we're doing a bait setup this morning. And then as we go on over here, we got, of course, our ant gel baits and aerosols and some more rodent traps and our bait. This is the bait that I mentioned to you guys that we get out of Plano, Texas. This one's called Pecan Surprise. It's specifically for like raccoons and stuff, but it works good on mice and everything as well. Got our reusable booties. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward little setup there. And uh, get you guys spun back around here. Hopefully the quality of that was good. I, I couldn't see anything, so um, I apologize in advance. Get you all kind of spread out here. Um, I apologize in advance if the video quality wasn't that great on the tour, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward overall. Um, we do have an electric, I guess we can go over here and show you guys that as well real quick. Um, we do have an electric rig set up as well zoom out there on that a little bit uh, we do have an electric reel setup as well we've had the same setup since we first got in business you know what about three years ago haven't had any issues the only issue we had is I'll spin you guys around so you can see that as well see that little coupling down there when it gets cold um, pro tip drain out your rig <laughs> and uh, take that coupling off and take it inside that way it doesn't freeze and crack up i've had two of them back to back winters actually freeze up on me and break and it's not expensive or anything it's like 30 bucks to go down to the guy in garland texas at pesco pump shout out to them because they're amazing they actually did the whole rig setup for us as well um they actually did that whole setup for us as they did the electrical wiring and all that stuff uh, just like you know your setup that you're going to have at Terminex and I think Orkin as well. Very good, solid setup as well. Probably here, the bathroom remodel guy working on our bathtub right now. So we'll go ahead and hop back in the truck real quick. Uh, we'll go ahead and in here. And I guess I can just show you all around real quick. Because, like I said, it's a little embarrassing to me. I don't like showing off my truck when it's kind of messy. But the life of running, you know, pest control, right? We have uh, the gloves down there. We got our gloves. We got our paperwork. Um, I definitely suggest you guys get one of these, like, clipboards where you can store all your documents and stuff in for any printouts and all that good stuff. Got to have your rag in Texas to clean off the forehead. Um, also... I don't know if I ever showed you guys this, the business card I was referring to that we had made. This one here, like it says, scan, leave us a review, get $5 off um, with the QR code, all that good stuff. So uh, we give those to customers who are like recurring customers 
And then we have another card for people who, you know, more so are interested in our services. It just says scan to get your instant quote and it'll take them right to the homepage of our website as well. Um, and in the near future, I'm actually going to set up a separate web page for the business card specifically, something I definitely suggest you guys do in terms of tracking where your leads are coming from, create different web pages specifically for different advertising avenues. For example, um, of course, when you create like a Google ad or something, you know you have your separate land pa landing page for the Google ad, Facebook ad, whatever the case may be. Same thing with this business card, and even we just ordered some yard signs recently, just some little ones um, with a QR code as well. Uh, create a separate web page for those. That way, whenever people actually scan that and you know either call you, um, submit for a quote request, whatever the case may be, when you go in, look at your analytics and where you know what came from, you can see exactly your true ROI on those resources and know you know where your money's being well spent, where you know maybe it's not working as well as what you expected, and you know make adjustments as needed. But yeah, I mean overall pretty. Basic setup, we have some back seats back there that are used more so for, um, you know, just transporting more stuff. I have like our winter clothing, extra set of clothes. Um, oh, my drill setup for when we do drilling for termite treatments, all that good stuff back there. My three, four year old used to sit back there back in the day when I first started the business. That's what that little mirror is back there so I could see her or whatever I, whenever i first started the business she was still facing the back so you know you always want to keep an eye on the kids and whatnot now she's too big to even sit in the back which is why this will be my technician's truck um, that i'll hand down and then i have my nissan of course that we just bought this year and that'll be my truck until you know we hire another technician and hand that down and then so on and so on but yeah i know it's a pretty quick straightforward um little tour i might do another one or something kind of more in depth showing you guys literally every little nick and cranny piece of equipment that we have uh, but like i said that was a highly demand uh, video that a lot of you were suggesting over the last year or so and one of you just asked in the discord group i forget i think your name was um maybe brian if i remember i think you're from new york and yeah, shout out to the northeast but um yeah, yeah, he requested that in our Discord group chat, and I was like, on it, perfect timing, because I just organized the truck a little bit. Um, it was, you know, you, you know how it gets out here when you're running the technician side of things. You just get busy, you're hot as hell, you're just ready to get done. A lot of times you just kind of start throwing stuff up there. One thing I definitely do suggest if you guys, I think I showed you all my little reusable booties, definitely invest in some of those. I got a, what was it, three pack for like 10 or 12 bucks, so you know, three to four bucks a pair. And, oh man, they're a game changer. I do wish they made them slightly larger. Um, but even then, they still go over my cowboy boot, which if you know anything about cowboy boots, those are pretty big size shoe. They go over them still, it's a tight fit, but um, they go over it just fine. And it's just so much better. I know that was what made my truck look the messiest, especially where my chemical is, is I would try to reuse, you know, disposable booties, you know, try to get the most out of them. And I would just toss them up in there. And I mean, I ended up filling up almost a whole five gallon bucket with just old booties that I hadn't even been using. So just getting that out of there alone made my truck where my chemical is look a lot neater. Um, then I took all, we had a storm come through and it cooled off. So I was like, Ooh, that's a perfect time to go out there and organize the truck a little bit. I ended up power washing, you know, where the chemical sits, uh, out there's, we have like a little drip, uh, where stuff can get in just like le little tiny leaves. And every time I go through the car wash, some water gets in there. There's just some, not mold, but, um, it was just kind of dirty looking, so I wanted to kind of clean it out, kind of start fresh, especially since I'm going to be handing this truck off here in the next month, roughly, um, or less. Uh, the goal is by mid-March to go ahead and have him, you know, do the onboarding and all that. But, um, yeah, no, like I said, quick little tour. If you guys have any questions or want to see anything, or if you're new to the channel, of course, I didn't even introduce myself like I usually do. I'm the owner of Preferred Pest Management. We've been in business, like I mentioned a little bit ago, for about three years now. And uh, if you have any questions, of course, you can shout them out in the comments any of the videos. I see pretty much all the comments. Um, and then 
as well we have our discord group chat and our facebook group which are totally free to join we don't have like masterminds you have to pay for or anything like that so if you want to join those links should be in the description box below um and yeah let me know you know if there's any other video ideas you know you guys have for me or like i said any questions i'm here for y'all at the end of the day uh definitely check out some of our playlists that we have as well I'm, i try to organize our videos based on different topics like we have a business growth uh one which is kind of like general business tips and website stuff and this and that and the other then we have like our google ad series we have things i wish i knew when i started my pest control company um, and then we have the series I just started uh, this past week about uh, common questions uh, for for pest control business startup, I think is the name of it, something like that. So I try to organize those for you guys. That way, if there's a specific topic that, you know, you guys are trying to, you know, grow your knowledge in, you can, you know, just dive into that kind of like a little course series, essentially, um, where a lot of guys are trying to charge you for whatever reason. So um yeah appreciate all the support if you haven't already subscribe below hit the bell icon right beside it that way you won't miss any live uh, videos uploads shorts any of that good stuff and like i said if you have any questions just let me know have a good day everybody and stay cool out there